and welcome to Better Golf Sooner, a golf instruction video channel hosted by me, Carl Fisher, a Canadian Golf Teachers Federation certified teaching professional in the greater Toronto area. Today's video, I'm going to demonstrate three simple yet highly effective golf swing drills that you can perform year round in the comfort and convenience of your own home. And I'm going to demonstrate a putting drill that will also be very simple, yet highly effective in helping you make more putts in the golf course and lower your golf scores. Let me just start off by saying these drills do not involve hitting a golf ball, do not involve actually making contact and swinging a club and striking a golf ball. Why is that important? Because a golf swing it's just that, a golf swing. You're swinging the club using your body motion. Your hands and arms are really just hanging on to the club. And it's your body motion, your big muscles that are actually being used more than your smaller muscles in your hands and your wrists and your arms. We don't, we wanna get away from using the smaller muscles and use the bigger muscles, um, our, our hip muscles, our thigh muscles, our back muscles, rotating back, our stomach muscles, the big muscles to power a nice smooth golf swing, which will enable the club to swing very freely, fast through the hitting area where the ball is. And the ideal golf swing is one in which you're, you're not swinging to hit the golf ball, you're actually just swinging the club to a nice finish position and the ball just gets in the way. So I can't stress enough how important it is to practice uh, your golf swing motion without the ball in front of you because it gets you away from that focusing on the golf ball which creates all kinds of problems when we, when we see that ball down there. The instinct is to try and hit it. So let me demonstrate these three drills, and I want you to perform these as often as you can. I do these drills myself, year round, and you cannot do these enough. What I want to demonstrate, what I want to get across to everyone who's watching these videos is, is that you are best served by focusing on one thing at a time when you're working on your game. Try and focus on one single aspect of the golf swing at one, at one time when you're doing a drill, eventually when you put it all together, uh, your golf swing will come together because you've rehearsed very small chunks that are easily di to digest. You have to trust that your body's gonna learn and remember those positions. You're gonna have a nice, you're gonna be able to feel what it's like to rotate your body, upper body, rotate it as much as you can, going back, and then unwinding your body, going all the way to a nice finish. So drill number one is grab a driver, place it over your shoulders, okay? Now I recommend you stand in front of a mirror when you're doing this, so you can make sure that you're, you can see your head and make sure that your, your body and your head does not move too far away from your setup position. A good golf swing is, is one that you have the least amount of moving parts. So what I'm working on here is I'm just going to rotate my shoulders as far back as I can go. I'm going to do it slowly so that my mind can feel the the position of my body. I guess you can call it muscle memory. What I'm, what I'm doing with this drill is I'm looking at a mirror. In this case, I'm looking at the camera, but I can see two things. I can watch my head in the mirror to make sure I'm not moving too far, I'm not moving up, I'm not moving down. Keep my head steady. It doesn't mean keep it rock solid still, because it's almost impossible to do that when you're actually swinging your swinging your body, rotating your body. However, minimizing the amount of motion of your head, which is caused by 
too much motion in our body, our legs, are, we're swaying too much, we're moving too much, we're bending too much. We want to keep that wind up as if we're, we're swinging around the spine. All right. So picture, picture um, uh, or imagine your spine is set in position at, at a dress and what you want to focus on is rotating your upper body around that fixed spine, all right? A great golf swing is one in which if you can rotate around that fixed spine position and maintain that spine angle, I'll show you a side on view. Okay, you can see my, I'm, I'm tilted from my hips. When I rotate, looking in a mirror, I'm gonna make sure my head is as steady as I can keep it that way I'm not going to be losing my angles. I won't be standing up when I'm swinging. I won't be bending over. I won't be moving to the side or to, or to the front or to the back. Okay. Now, if you can, you can hear by the strain in my voice that this takes effort. I'm actually stretching my back muscles as I rotate to a position. I'm trying to get to 90 degrees or just beyond 90 degrees of rotation with my shoulders, which means my back is facing my target. Now you can see that by the end, if you look at the end of the grip, you can see how far you're rotating your shoulders by looking at the end of the grip. Obviously I've gone beyond 90 degrees, which you can tell by my voice is, is a, it's a, it's a hard position to, position to achieve but there is definitely a winding up and stretching of the gulf of the back muscles when you're rotating your upper body. Okay, so that's one drill. You do this as often as you can. If you can only go back to here, that's fine. As long as you can feel that that's your full rotation of your upper body over your lower body, then you've swung as fully as you can do, as you can achieve with your current flexibility. We can always work on, you can always work on trying to rotate a little bit farther each day so that you can maybe achieve a 90 degrees rotation. It doesn't have to be 90 degrees, but if you want full power, maximize your power, getting to a 90 degrees rotation back facing the target is an ideal position to be in. Drill number one. Now, the second drill, I'm going to place my head, the front of my, my forehead against, in this case it's going to be the, the uh, door frame, you can use the wall as well. Um, I'm going to place my forehead on, against the wall and I'm just going to rotate, the same as before with the, with the club, I'm going to rotate my shoulders, my back as far as I can and this will force me to keep my head still and steady. It's resting against the wall and I can't move it. I'm just gonna practice rotating my upper body, rotating my hips as far as I can go and go slowly down through the downstream position, all the while maintaining the forehead against the wall. <clears throat> Now, do that as often as you can. Now, I don't want to contradict myself by saying, I said earlier that it's almost impossible to keep your head totally still when you're rotating your body, um, and that's fine, as long as we don't move drastically side to side, up and down. This drill with your head against the wall is going to obviously force you to keep your head steady as you rotate your shoulders and your lower body so you can get a sense of a feeling of what is it like what does it feel like when my head is perfectly still and i'm rotating my body around my, my upper body around my spine what does it feel like this drill is, is to help you feel get the feeling of what it's like to have a completely steady head so when you go out and golf, when you actually swing a golf club and you've rehearsed that with the forehead perfectly still 
with the, against the wall, you can have a sense and a feeling that you can hopefully take to the golf course when you're actually swinging, or if you go to the driving range, you actually are hitting balls. You can try and recreate the feeling you had with these drills. That's called, I guess, called muscle memory, for lack of a better term. Rotate as much as possible. You can never rotate a golf swing. In a golf swing, you can never rotate enough. My error, my, my, my tendency is to, as most golfers, is to under-rotate when I'm playing golf. When I'm on the golf course and there's a ball down there, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on that ball on the ground because I want to hit it, I have to constantly remind myself on the course that I need to worry more or focus more on rotating my body around as far as it'll go, making a full back swing so I can then time a nice full down swing all the way to a nice full finish. I have to trust that this motion is gonna produce the best results. I get away from focusing on the golf ball on the ground and focus more on the feeling of rotating your upper body around your spine, trying to maintain that spine angle all the way down and through as long as possible until the ball is struck and then we can come out of that position. Can never do that enough. And, and now the third swing, golf swing drill, I'm gonna use a golf training aid which I recommended in my uh, five best golf um, training aids video. This is the Skills Brand Tempo and Grip Trainer it helps you rehearse a perfect grip every time. And it also has a weighted, it's also weighted and it's short so you can swing inside your home. Now this drill is, is going to be swinging with your left arm only. If you're a right-handed golfer, I want you to practice as often as you can swinging with your left hand only on the club. If you're a right-handed, sorry, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's going to be your your right hand which you'll be swinging with only. But for this purpose, I'm a left, I'm a right-handed golfer, so I'm going to be swinging with my left hand only, making some swings, left hand only. I'll answer the question: Why am I doing this drill? If you're a right-handed golfer. The, the best way to swing a club is with the left hand controlling the motion of the swing. It's the right hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, it's the right hand that is the cause of all kinds of mishits and badly swung, uh, bad golf swings is primarily because if we're right-handed, we're always unconsciously and consciously trying to hit that ball with our right hand which throws off the nice motion nice fluid golf swing motion of the nice arc of that club coming down and through it's the left hand that we want to be controlling the club so as often as you can swing one-handed I'm working on two things with this drill I have my left hand placed in the proper position using the molded grip end of this club. Okay, and additionally, if I just want to practice my, my golf grip with my left and right hand, I'm going to just hold the club. And the crucial detail of, of the right hand is you can see that V, that yellow V that points there. I'm going to line up the V created by my thumb and the padding next to my first finger. I'm gonna line up that V with the V on this golf grip, okay? That gets my right hand, that V pointing more towards my chin or right ear at the most. The V of my left hand is pointing more towards my right shoulder, okay? But that right hand grip is import so important to be able to have that V 
pointing more towards your chin or your right ear. This gets the right hand or helps eliminate the right hand from taking over the golf swing and using your right hand only to strike the ball, which causes all kinds of problems. We want to be able to swing primarily with our left arm. Okay, and working on these left hand only drills. If you're left, if you're right handed golfer, just swinging with your left arm only. Excellent, excellent drill for learning how to properly swing that club back and through. Now, putting. I always work on my putting every day. You cannot work on your putting enough. Uh, unfortunately, when I'm teaching students, I'm primarily working on their golf swing because most students um, I teach want to want to work on getting more consistent with their irons and hitting their driver a long way, which is perfectly understandable. However, the reality of golf, playing the game of golf, is the major the most often used club in your bag is always your putter. You're going to use your putter anywhere from 26 to, to 40 times around. You'll only use your driver maybe six, seven, eight times at the most throughout a round. But your putter you're going to use up to 40 times. So easiest way, the fastest way to play better golf sooner is to keep honing a great putting motion, a putting stroke. And how am I going to do that? Well, again, uh, one of the best training aids that you can ever purchase is a putting mirror. $25. This one was at Golf, the Golf Town for $25. You can check out my video on the five best training aids. I discussed this training aid. This, is, this will force you to make a perfect putting motion every time. You cannot practice this enough. I can't urge you to get one of these as quickly as possible and start using it as often as possible. If you've watched uh, some of the golf tournaments recently, uh, the, the Masters Tournament and the, the Players Golf Tournament, before the round of golf on the Golf Channel, they, they show the, the players coming to warm up before their actual round. And you'll notice, if you pay attention, that, there, that a lot of the golfers, if not all of them, are going to be using a putting mirror at some point, whether they're using this to practice away from the tournament or just before the tournament starts. Rory McIlroy was using one of these on the putting green just before his final round when he won the Players' Championship earlier this year in, in March. So, got to get one of these. I urge you to, if there's one, if there's one putting Training aid you must have, it's a putting mirror. Why is this great? Because it will allow you to see positive, uh, immediate feedback. You can see when it's on the ground, you can see where your eyes are pointed, where your eyes are lined up. And you can, you can place your eyes directly on the line of the intended putt. And you can also set your shoulders parallel to your target line, parallel shoulders, Parallel hips, parallel knees, parallel eyes. If all, if, if everything in our body is parallel to the target line and the club face is set up perfectly square with the golf ball, with the, with the, the ball placed up against the, the sweet spot of the putter when we're setting up, then we're gonna increase the odds of swinging perfectly every time, getting the ball to rel end over end, and the, the sooner that ball starts rolling end over end, the more chance it has of rolling, staying on line and rolling on your intended line of the putt. And hopefully you've chosen your line correctly and you've swung with the proper pace of the putt and you'll sink more putts. I guarantee using this every day, five or 10 minutes as I do, will greatly improve your putting stroke and you'll lower your golf scores. I guarantee it. Okay, so I take my time. 
I make sure my eyes are, are right over the line of the intended uh, line of the putt. Make sure that's set up. And when I'm actually uh, making a putting stroke, I'm watching my eyes, making sure that my eyes do not move, which means my head is not moving, which means I'm as still as possible and I'm just rotating my shoulders back and through. So, the putting motion is one where you're trying to stay as still as possible and just rock your shoulders back and through. Ideally, you want to have your entire body still, your head still, directly, eyes directly over the ball. So when you're putting, the only thing that should move, the only part of your body should move is this triangle formed by your shoulders, arms, and a club. Rock it back and through back and through. If you can stay as still as possible over the ball when you're putting, you'll greatly improve your consistency, you'll sink more putts, and you'll have a lot more fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm working on these drills inside year round. I urge you to also work on these drills. They are going to improve your golf score, I guarantee it. Keep watching. Better Golf Sooner. If you like this video, please, please click the subscribe button down below. If you'd like to leave some comments or give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it as well. And as always, if you are interested in having some hands-on private lessons, I'm available. CarlFisherGolf.com. Email me at CarlFisherGolf at gmail.com or Text me 647-567-4653. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.